Jennifer Sanassier watching News 24 Live. The Cannes Film Festival is underway and the second red carpet was last night. I'm joined in studio by Woman 24's Marisa Kraus and we're going to talk you through the best and worst dressed people so far at the biggest film festival of the year. Hello! Hi! <laughs> now these people look a lot better than some of the people at the Met Gala. So Definitely. Thank goodness! Yes, no, I was so impressed. Well, I am so impressed so far, so I hope it stays that way. Really beautiful gowns, designs, just fantastic. All right, we're going to speak about our best dressed. Yes. And topping our list is Lupita Nyong'o. Now, yes. I haven't actually seen her for a while. She was killing the red carpet um, for most of last year. She did have one or yes. two slip ups, but she looked beautiful. She did. She wore this beautiful, um, like a grasshopper green Gucci mm -hmm. gown pleated gown and she had so much fun with this gown you could just see it she was playing around with it swirling around and I mean the photographers loved her the crowd loved her and this is just really a great dress it's fun and I love that she's going back to solid colors just like a solid color dress not going for too many different patterns, patterns. things like that I really prefer her in this kind of dress really gorgeous she looks beautiful now we're moving on to Isabella Rossellini yes I thought she wore this beautiful caped dress by Stella McCartney she really did the cape perfect she did it was so great and it's a really age-appropriate dress I thought it just fit her perfectly the front part of the dress was a little bit wrinkled I was a bit disappointed by that but the cape it was a beautiful graphic like pink and red um, mm -hmm. cape and it's just something really modern um, and almost futuristic in a way. <laughs> Maybe she'd been in the dress for a while. I mean, wrinkles happen. Yes. Let's not be too hard on her. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> now moving on to our South African beauty, Charlize. Yes. I love Charlize, as does everyone in South Africa, I think. I know. And she just rocked this yellow gown. She looked so beautiful. This was last night at the Mad Max premiere. Um, she wore this beautiful strapless canary yellow dress by Dior and I mean she and Sean Payne they were also on the red carpet just looking so in love and I mean she's just she has just a killer killer body so I mean she just looked incredible I love her and Sean Penn but my favorite thing was uh, Sean in the back of this photo that we've just shown you oh, he yeah. looks like he's like creeping in the background <laughs> waiting <laughs> yeah, for it. it's super cute yeah. he looks actually so happy that she is with him I know and you so. can just see how much he adores her mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she looked beautiful. And next, um, Julianne Moore. And this was the first night also, Julianne Moore and Naomi Watts. Um, they really brought their feather game. Um, we saw a lot of feathers on this uh, con red carpet um, already. And I just think they looked so glamorous, very old school, like Hollywood glamour. Um, Julianne Moore wore this beautiful Armani Privé dress with like a feathered shawl. Um, and her accessories were beautiful um, green earrings um, and just worked really beautifully with her red hair. How do you do a feather properly? Because feathers, you know, can go really wrong really quickly. I know, it can go, uh, I love the way she did it where it's basically her dress was more like a charcoal mm -hmm. and then with a black shawl. Keep it close. I don't think it looks that, it's more difficult to pull off if you have, say, a red shawl a feathered shawl with a green dress or you know keep it within the same um, color range and then it could look really beautiful and go for a simple dress with the feathers don't go for something too elaborate <laughs> or to, where there's too much design yeah. into it so it must be quite simple and then the feathers can really stand out exactly that glamour yes. that you're looking for and Naomi Watts's dress was designed by Eli Saab and I mean she took this beautiful Instagram photo um, of just you know the back of her dress and it just looks looked so beautiful it's almost like a little chicken but but in a great way what a nice one yes <laughs> now fan bing bing she actually impressed on the met gala red carpet as well yes. and she looked beautiful last night i actually I can't get enough of her she really goes all out um sometimes it can be you know quite difficult to pull off some of her dresses because it can be a bit costumey almost but last night she kind of played the whole almost Kira Knightley slash Marie Antoinette vibe where she had like this floral crown, this beautiful dusty grey dress by Marquesa. Um, and I just thought it was so beautiful with beautiful floral applique. Um, it was just dreamy. I thought it was like a fairy dress. <laughs>
Now those were our best dresses. Yes. Now we're on to our worst. Why don't you talk us through Michelle Rodriguez's dress? Sure. Um, I, I don't know. She's very much of like a tomboy, and she usually dresses as quite like an androgynous style, mm -hmm. which I really love. I think she looks great in that style. Yes. Um, this is why I thought the dress. I don't know. It looked almost tacky to me on her. Also because of the sheer, almost flesh-colored sheer, um, you know, dress. It was, I don't know, it's almost too old for her. Yeah. And then tacky. So I think, I mean, she has a great body. Why, why go I for the sheer? Like that, yes. Yeah. So I, I really didn't like this dress on her. A lot of, you know, a lot of online cr fashion critics said that, that she rocked the red carpet in this dress. But I really have to disagree. I think she should have gone for something, so like a strapless, red plain gown almost like the one natalie portman um wore mm -hmm. she just went for something simple like that i think it would have suited her much better with like hair curled to the side i, I don't think it was this just too was, much yeah too much <laughs> too tacky yes <laughs> <laughs> all right now leah cabede yes she wore this a kind of futuristic sequin cutout dress um with a paneled skirt with um, grommet embellishments. Now, even just hearing you speak about it, it sounds like too much. <laughs> it was quite a lot. Like, at least she, her styling was quite minimal, so thumbs up for that, with this crazy dress. But, I don't know, this dress, I just found a bit, um, I don't know, just too much. Mm -hmm. And it really didn't flatter her in any way. I mean, she has a great body, beautiful, beautiful model. But she should have gone for something with like a nicer color, nicer cut. This was, it almost looked like fur, the sequence, which I really reminded me of some kind of forest, <laughs> you know, creature. Um, and yeah, so I, I think she could have done a lot better. You know, I think a lot of celebrities are trying to stand out on these red carpets. Yes. And there's a fine line between what's going to stun and stand out and not Definitely. be your everyday gown and what's going to be tacky Definitely. and over the top. And sometimes when you put it on for the first time at home, it just no. is a different it's I mean, different even, experience. I'm sure this dress, I don't know how it even looked on the runway. Because sometimes on the runway, it looks really great. Mm -hmm. Then once a celebrity wears it, you know, it can be tricky. But this dress, I don't know. I really just don't like it. I think it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Jane Seymour is yes. our second last celebrity who was worst dressed last night. Talk us through this outfit. Yes, she um, she wore this um, dress, like this purple satin strapless dress um, with a bit of a mullet effect um, and really, you know, diamond encrusted heels. And I thought for her, I mean, she looks so incredible for her age. She's just such a lovely actress and celebrity. But this dress, I thought, was very outdated. Mm. Um, I don't know, <laughs> a satin gown like that always reminds me of a prom or like, you know, a trick dance. And I just think there's so many more options out there that she could have gone for. Um, and maybe also in a solid color. I don't think yeah. patterns, like especially these colors as well, the purple and the white and the pink. It's, it's a difficult one Too much all at once. Mm. Now, this one was a last minute ad. Now, when I first looked at this dress, I could see how maybe it looked nice on the hanger. Oh, yes. Uh, but uh, I think it's just a little too much for an event like can, especially yes. a little too much skin. I have a bit of a problem with a lot of models, especially at con, but also at the mates. They often, like, if you look at what Mar Miranda Kerr, who's also a model, wore last night, she wore this beautiful flowy like pink gown and I thought that was fantastic. A lot of models go for really bodycon, also like pantsuit kind of outfits and usually very sparkly, shiny. And of course they want to show off their beautiful figures, great. But it's usually, I don't know, it ends up looking very kind of amateur and not stylish at all. Um, I think Carly Kloss, I mean, she's incredible, um, but she never gets it right for me. She, she really, it's almost like she's trying too hard and, and it's sad because <laughs> I think this dress that she wore, she could have gone, I mean, it was a cutout showing like a bralette right. and she, like if it was a full top, it would have looked much better. But yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> well, it seems Carly Kloss needs a new stylist. Have you been following Ken? If so, let us know who your best and worst dressed were in the comments section below this video.